Hello, welcome to The Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about disease. The two main causes of diseases are viruses and bacteria. Wait, but aren't they the same thing? Most people believe that viruses and bacteria are the same thing, but in reality, they are completely different. In this video, I will be explaining the differences between bacteria and viruses. First of all, viruses aren't even living. It's complicated, but viruses are like between living and non-living. They have no cells. They're just genetic material, which is DNA or RNA, wrapped up inside a capsid. A capsid is a protective shell made up of proteins. However, on the other hand, bacteria are living. Bacteria are unicellular, which means they only have one cell, and they're also much larger than viruses. So, how can viruses cause diseases if they're not living? Well, viruses can only reproduce in other living organisms. When they get inside one of an organism's cells, they use the cell's genetic material to reproduce. The virus then kills the cell, and the reproduced viruses travel to infect another cell. Bacteria, however, are living, and like living organisms, they eat and they grow. They reproduce by fission, which is an asexual form of reproduction. Because bacteria are living, they have a cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, a single chromosome, and they have ribosomes and enzymes to break down food and build cell parts. Here's a list of different diseases that each of these may cause. When you have a bacterial disease, most of the time doctors recommend antibiotics. But because viruses are non-living and don't have cell processes, like bacteria, antibiotics will never work on viruses. However, there are many vaccines to help prevent both viruses and bacteria. Overall, both viruses and bacteria are harmful and maybe even life-threatening. But understanding the differences between them has helped doctors find a cure to thousands of diseases. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.